Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Sean here. Uh, my wife came up with a really good topic, and I wanted to discuss it today about your child's behavior. Now, you can't guide your child through everything in life. All right, you have to let others do that for you sometimes. You know, like in school. Now they're in school eight hours a day. Now if they have school functions after school, you know, or you know, extracurricular activities and whatnot, you have to let you know sports, the coaches, you know, take care of your children. You can't always be there saying, "No, little Susie, you can't do that," or "No, little Joey, you can't do that." Um, you have to let them do it. You know, guide your children. So, your children's also going to do things to test their limits. They're going to say things, do things, act certain ways, and stuff like that to see what is acceptable and what they can get away with. It's just in human nature, okay? You're going to do it. Uh, and, you know, they do it to you at, at home as well or when y'all are together. They're going to they're, they're gonna do the different things, you know, test your patience, your buttons, push them to the limit. And uh, you have to act accordingly. You know, if they get too out of line, you reprimand them. You know, that's just the way you do it. Either you you give them a spanking, or you know, you send them to bed with no dinner, or you know, you send them to bed early, or sit in time out, or take away their toys, whatever. Uh, you're gonna do it too. Well, they have to do that as well at school and these functions and whatnot. So when a person does. Do, does uh, reprimand your child for doing something wrong uh, and they call you or confront you about it you have to you have to take it you know don't take it straight at face value because you don't know the whole story you don't know your child's perspective on it yet you know ask them and find out what they did and what the story was behind it and it's always better to do it in front of the uh, person that is accusing the child. That way, the child is less likely to lie. Because of, uh, everybody, it's human nature to try to get out of something. and Or try not to get in trouble any more than they already are. So they're gonna, they may lie. And they may lie straight to your face. But with that person being there, they may not lie. They might be less inclined. So, get the whole story before you start passing judgment. Now, taking your your uh, kid's side without uh, having the whole story and knowing the truth or just saying that your kid does not do no wrong is just wrong in itself. That's being, you know, very, very uh, biased and not letting your child learn from his or her mistakes. Um, if you do that, you need to stop. Let your child learn so that later it doesn't turn into something even more problematic or harsh or hurtful or something like that because it might be something minor now, but in the long run, it could be something very detrimental to somebody else or themselves or you. So I wanted to just kind of say a little bit about that. It, you know, the synopsis is just get the whole story before you start passing judgment and don't just think that your child does no wrong because they do. It's how they live. It's how they learn. Okay? And only because they've never done it around you doesn't mean they don't do it or they've never done it. Believe me, I know. I was a child one time, and I know that I did all sorts of things to my parents. I never did in front of my parents, but I did them, away from them. And they thought I was a perfect angel for the longest time until I came to light and I told them the truth, and, and they're like, oh my gosh. So, uh, like I said, nobody's perfect, but yeah, that's all I got to say about that. Uh, subscribe to my channel, please. Uh, like this on Facebook. Share it. 
uh, comment if you have any questions, comments, concerns, uh, critiques. Uh, keep it civil. Don't be an idiot about it. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I will talk to y'all later. All right? Peace.